become so distracting that what just happened on the sun is lost on it. If it was December right now and we were on the other side of the solar system, we would be in very big trouble. Two massive solar eruptions, each capable of causing electrical disruptions on Earth, would have begun to arrive today and could be sending our planet back to a time before electrified technology. These blasts went off the far side of the sun, as it were, and as we look from our July position here in the heavens, indeed, Earth just got very, very lucky. When solar blasts hit the planet, the charged particles in interplanetary magnetic fields begin to couple and interact with the magnetic field and electrodynamics of the Earth. The primary concern is the induced geomagnetic current. As the particles are creating aurora and ionospheric disruptions at the top of the sky, it causes phenomenal currents to flow through the crust and the mantle. These currents have taken out transformers, triggered surges in electrical fires, and in the greatest solar event in technological history back in 1859, it set telegraph wires on fire, as well as buildings. Today we don't have the same strong magnetic field protecting our planet as we did back in 1859. They already say that a repeat of that event to the electrified world today would set us back a great deal, and that's before you factor in that Earth's protection is fading, we are down about 20 to 25 percent in protection, and that means the activity of the sun is of the utmost importance. If those solar blasts had been facing Earth, there's a very good chance we'd have seen a global meltdown of the grids. That's every transformer, every grid, maybe even every wire, connected or disconnected. In the 1859 event, they unplugged the telegraph machines, but they stayed on, kept transmitting telegraphs, and then still caught fire anyway. If those blasts had hit Earth, there could be no factories to rebuild the parts, no trucks or vehicles to deliver after their ignition components and onboard computers get fried, no gas at the stations, no electricity for the pumps, no food at the store, no refrigeration, no water from the tap or your electric well, no phone, no police, no heat, no air conditioning. Got a generator? Hope it's not so loud you tell your neighbors you are ready to rock. That's if it didn't melt down in the solar event in the first place. There is no coming back from the major solar storm. That's why they call it the solar kill shot. All systems of civilization will fail, including all the components to rebuild it. This isn't like a hurricane or an earthquake. When everywhere is down, nobody is coming to help. Yes, folks, the Earth got very lucky, and we're in the early stages of solar cycle 25. Activity is expected to increase five to tenfold over the coming three to four years, and Earth's magnetic field isn't getting any stronger. I had previously stated that our chances of taking such a modern world-ending blast this solar cycle were about 25%. Not sure where I stand on that now, but as for those two eruptions we just saw, it's in the 50-50 range or higher if they had been aimed at Earth. We'll be back in the morning for the daily update. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.